What's going on YouTube? Subbum Saint bringing you another review this week and sorry for kind of the delay. I didn't really get one up yesterday. Super Bowl guys. Super Bowl. You know, gotta, gotta watch the Super Bowl. So, kind of got sidetracked with, you know, getting chips, dip, all that good stuff. All the condiments for Super Bowl. Even though my team ain't in it. So, just wondering how, how you guys feel about the Super Bowl. Eh. Not really good. Not not too great, no. I didn't get to watch it all because, you know, me working night shift, I had to kind of take like a little power nap in the middle of there, but I was able to watch like the beginning and the end, so. But anyways, um, I think it was an alright Super Bowl. I mean, it could have been a little bit more action-packed, I guess, is what I want to say. But anyways, it's not what this video is about. Today we are taking a look at the Aeolus Light by Synthetic Cloud. Now, if any of you guys have followed my channel or watched any of my older videos, or if you're new to my channel, you'll know that the version 1 was like one of my favorite RDAs. Version 2, eh, didn't really like the version 2 just because of that whole, yeah, ugh. But anyways, this is the Aeolus Light. The version 1 and the version 2 were around 70, 80 bucks. This one is at half price, $42. So, hey man, don't need your vape budget hands. Get to enjoy a nice RDA, top airflow. Now, if you haven't had top airflow, top airflow is... If you're like me, I overdrip. I am just a overdripper like crazy, man. I just, I, I just can't do it. So, it's really hard for me to do like bottom airflow just because I'm an overdripper. But... You know, I'm getting, I'm getting better, guys. I'm getting better. I'm working on it. But anyways, if you haven't t had top airflow, it's really kind of hard to describe. You get more of a swishy feeling to it, and it's not really, you're not really cooling your coil. So what you're kind of doing is you got your wick sitting right here. Um, right here. Right here's your coil. Right here. But anyways, your coil will heat up, and it will kind of break your thing apart because there is no air getting to it so what it's gonna do is gonna singe that little middle part right here but you're still gonna look like you have cotton dripping uh, coming out the end of your coils therefore you're kinda, gonna kinda get a little bit of a burnt hit now I can't really say there's ways to avoid this I guess just don't build so low but other than that I mean I like top airflow me personally I like top airflow just because I don't have to worry about leaking Things like that. But anyways, what I want to kind of talk to you guys about with this Aeolus light is it comes in multiple colors. You know, it comes in black, stainless steel, zombie green, like a blue. Uh, oh man, the colors are just endless. But anyways, it's like $42. You do get, it is four post, ah, four post. It is four post. 18 karat gold plated brass positive pin. It is it does have a really big protruding 510. I will show you guys up in the up closes or the ninny and the gritty. Um anyways, uh so today so what was it? Two days ago? Two days ago I pulled out the Fast and the Furious 7. Okay, I know it's been out for a long time. I've had it since it's came out. I've had it on Blu-ray. It's just still been in the wrapper. I just, I think I had this like subconscious thing where I didn't really want to watch it just because, you know, yeah. And I didn't really, I didn't know whether I'd watch it or not. So I finally pulled it out and I watched it. And I got to admit, I really think they would just end the Fast and the Furious series after that one. I just, I think it should be over with, but that's my perspective. But anyways... It's not what this video is about. This video is about vaping. And that is what we are going to cover. We are going to cover vaping. So, let's talk about this RDA. Let's dive down. Get down to the nitty and the gritty, y'all. And we will go. Come back to FaceTime. Vape on it. Talk about it. Alright guys, here's an up close and personal look at the Aeolus Light. Here's the build deck. Alright, anyways, more seriousness. As you guys can see, nice build deck here. Four post design. Flat head screws. Now, I like that the positive post here is squared. Yes, no spinny on this one. 
not too bad of a juice well. Seen better, but seen worse. Protruding 510, definitely protruding. And two O rings hold on the base here. So, not bad, not bad. Now, here's the barrel. Not too shabby of a barrel. It's got a little lips here. I'll show you guys how that works. What you do is you pop it on. Let's see if I can get you guys a little better view. Up close. As you pop the barrel on, it'll prevent your barrel not only from your deck getting pushed all the way up, but whenever you spin it on an atomizer, let me see if I can find something here. Let me find a mod. <sighs> the mods I got here. Let me see. Okay. Screw it on to the here. Now. You want to focus for me? Come on now. Now, as you got it on your mod, sometimes you have your juices really loose. As you can see, it's popping off for me easily right now. But as you can see, it sliding across there. It'll grab onto those negative posts, and it will loosen up real easy. Mine's just clean, so it's not really the barrel's not sliding. but it will grab on to where you can tighten it. That will slide over onto this side when you're loosening it. And it's real juicy. If you know what I mean, you guys will know what I mean, but whenever you loosen it, it'll grab onto that negative post and make it easier to spin off of your mod. So definitely a pro on that one. I definitely like that. Pop that off again. Set that to the side. Here is your airflow. As you guys can see, it's a vertical airflow, so this thing would like to adjust for me. Go away. I said go away. Why are you not adjusting? There we go. Got your airflows there. Aeolus, got your, that's where your airflow enters, comes down through there. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, here's your adjustable airflow ring. Pretty standard little ring here. Pop it on here. And turn it that way. Turn it and it closes it off. As you guys can see, it's about as open as you can get it. Close it down, fine tune it, all that good stuff. And it comes with a drip tip. Just plop it right in there and there's your drip tip. Now it also comes with another chuff piece. Another way of adjusting your airflow here. And it's going to be a pain in the butt. I should have done this last. <laughs> Oh, crud. Anyways, here is your chuff piece it comes with. Pretty, pretty nice little chuff piece. It replaces this uh, airflow. Dang it, man. Son of a hoot nanny. Okay, let me pop something in here and try to squeeze her on out. Aha, uh -huh. thought you had me, didn't you? Thought you had me beat. Anyways, here is your chuff piece. Fits right in there. It is a little loose. It is loose, so be forewarned. But as you guys can see, adjust your airflow. Can't really see it from that angle, but makes your adjusting your airflow a lot more easier with this chuff piece. So, yeah. But if you want to use your standard 510, then definitely use this piece right here. So, 
probably just do that. Pop that in there. Use your preferred drip tip. Or the drip tip that comes with it. And once you put it all together, what you need to do is you need to keep your airflow right above your coils. Yeah, right yonder. Check that out. And bam, there you go. Got your Aeolus light right here. And as always, you do get a good bag of goodies here. Extra screws, O-rings. Packaging pretty relatively simple. Now you just slide it out and all your stuff sits right in there. Bam! 18 karat gold plated brass contacts. 22 millimeter diameter. All the information you guys need. And there you go. So let's go back and vape on it guys. And I'll tell you my nitty and my gritty. Alright guys, that was the nitty and the gritty. Now, let me, pro let me go over the pros and the cons on this device. Now, the pros are, I really like top airflow, but that is subjective. Not everybody, and top airflow is not for everybody. Another pro is those little grooves that you've seen on the barrel. I really like that. I really like that because it makes screwing on your atomizer and taking your atomizer off when it's juicy a lot more easier, more convenient. Also, I like that they include the chuff in this kit. Back in the version 1 and the version 2, you had to buy it separately, and it was just money, 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 money. But anyways, I'm glad they added that. I love the colors. I love the four-post design. Love the post holes, because the post holes are pretty decent size. You can fit Clapton's, all that good stuff in it. Now, my cons with this device. <sighs> my cons with this device, this little top cap right here, where you take your adjustable airflow off is a bitch. Excuse my French, but man, mine is snug as a bug. I just, it's a pain in the butt. The other adjustable airflow that comes with the standard 510 drip tip, it is a pain in the butt to kind of adjust the airflow. Other than that, I really don't have all that many cons about this device. Other than, you know, the wicking situation and all that, you're going to have to replace your cotton a little bit more and it's going to make it a little bit tedious. But overall, it's a great RDA. I think it's a really good solid price at $42. I really think you guys should check it out. If you don't want to, then you don't want to. I mean, whatever. I don't care. It's your decision, not mine. So. Anyways guys, wanted to get your opinion, so please feel free to leave comments below. I want to start doing it, I want to get into a, a groove, okay? So I want to do like a video maybe on a Wednesday and a video on Sunday. Now I was wondering if you guys wanted to do like a device or an RDA review one day and then like a vlog one day where I just ramble and talk about everything. And Another thing I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about is the CASA. Guys, we got to stay up to date with the CASA situation. We got to sign the petitions. I know it's tedious and we sign them constantly, but we got to to continue vaping. The bill is in its last process, and if it does pass, don't worry. It's not going to ruin vaping. I mean, you're just going to have to you're just going to have to kind of just keep sticking with it. We don't have to go underground or anything like that, but we do have to keep signing these petitions. You know, kind of get into the groove of we gotta fight for our right to vape. I mean, if you're like me, vaping is everything to me. I mean, it quit, it helped me stop smoking. I don't smell like an ashtray no more. I don't, I don't go out of breath to go out there and check the mailbox. So, I mean, if this really means that much to you guys, just please follow my link in the description to CASA. Sign the petition, stay up to date, make your account, that way they'll send you emails for all that good stuff that way you guys can be up to date hurry up get in there sign it in and out it takes two minutes guys two minutes out of your time that's not too much to ask for I think you guys can handle that I mean that's ultimately my thing here another thing here I will be doing a giveaway when I reach 800 subscribers I'm trying to reach 800 subscribers I will do a giveaway depends on what's new and what you guys would like and I will order it send it to your house brand new just 
as long as I get 800 subscribers and then we're just keep doing a giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time for the nitty and the gritty, y'all.